What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. I have yet another unboxing today. Um, I've been on a little bit of a helmet binge. I got this HJC, H3, uh, HJC V31 vintage three quarter uh, open face helmet. Got it from Speed Addicts. These guys are really quick to ship. They do great video reviews uh, on YouTube. Highly recommend these guys. Very helpful if you have questions, they're quick to respond to. They do great full breakdowns of each helmet. Kind of inspired me to uh, make my unboxings a little bit better. So let's get into it. Uh, as you can see, I've got my old yellow helmet here that I want to replace because I took the chin and visor off and I turned it into a three-quarter open face helmet. So I figured I needed the real deal dedicated three-quarter open face helmet. And I like the vintage look. And HJC makes a beautiful one for a great price. And here it is. Box here. Nice box. HJC, number one in the world. The reason they say that is because they are the world's biggest and largest, biggest, largest, and most numerous, I believe, helmet manufacturer in the world. More people have HJC helmets than any other brand, I would say. So here we go. Nice box, nice packaging. Um, we got the owner's manual, which I'm actually going to use and utilize because they have a, a pin lock drop down face shield visor on this on this helmet that's it other than some padding in there nice helmet bag HJC logo on there get this out of here oh, beautiful perfect color too it's called deep yellow um, so as I was saying that the drop-down visor uh, these little things hold it from going up and down that so it comes with like a half smoke, or I don't know, maybe 60% smoke, medium smoke. There's probably a deep smoke too, very tinted. Uh, I want clear, so I, and it's, it's a bitch to try to find these things. It, it's like they stopped making them or they're sold out in the US. The only place I could find a lot of these visors and replacement visors and pin locks and, and shields are like in Europe and they charge crazy shipping to get here. So um, the good thing about it though is I found one in California. They didn't have it at Speed Addicts, but I found one in California and I just ordered it ahead of time because I knew that mine wasn't gonna come with the clear. There's one thing I will say about this helmet. There's apparently like a 2023 version and a 2024 version. I don't know which is which. I don't know which I have. One of them comes with uh, an extra clear visor or a peak for the snaps here. I don't know which it comes with. And then some on some reviews you'll see um, a, a little flap here and a button, a buckle, so that you can keep your helmet, uh, so that you can keep your goggles connected to the helmet, um, which is cool. It's a, that, I would have liked to get that, but it's not, you know, it's not a deal breaker. But I don't know if it's maybe for the Asian or European market where they do that, those differences, or if, if it's a, a new model year, you know, they have the old versions don't have or do have and the new versions don't have or do have. So I don't know which, which is which, but um, really nice. Um, this comes in three shell sizes. So the small and extra smaller in this size, this is a small. And then I think medium large is in the middle. And then the third shell size is like XL to XL. It is a little bit snug, and the guys at Speed Addicts even said that. It looks snug. Before I even put it on, I can tell. But, um, let's see. There's only one way to find out. Oh yeah, it's snug. But it's properly snug. It's not, um, I don't have any hot spots where I feel like it's digging into my, my face or my forehead or, you know, um, double D locking mechanism, nice and simple. I might try to convert this to a quick release. We'll see. 
Uh, yeah, I like this. It's really cool. It's nice and simple. Um, they say that it is compatible with glasses. So I've got some glasses here to see if they go on and off easily. Yeah, there's a little bit of space in there. Yeah, that feels good. That feels good. Now I try with regular eyeglasses. These ones are a little less nicely situated. Yeah, these ones are a little bit different. Hmm. All right, well, success on one, fail on the other. Maybe it was just in the wrong spot. Probably has to do with the bend in these. All right, so that, that's cool. At least we can get the sunglasses on. But again, I'm not probably gonna use sunglasses with these because I have this awesome visor and no fog up, no fog up. <laughs> I want the clear so that I can wear that at night. Oh, and this thing here has, um, there's these little, you hear that little click? You can adjust how far down the visor comes so that it doesn't hit your nose if you've got a big beak. But I like this, it goes all the way down, doesn't touch my nose, so that's, Pretty cool. Let's see, what else? What else? What else about this helmet? Um, Velcro for the cheek pads, not the snap on. Really nice, um, I guess it's fall leather, faux leather detailing here, but it looks aesthetically nice, really nice. Uh, I think they also sell brown uh, or suede looking ones that you can insert in there too if you want to change up the look of the helmet a little bit but yeah I really like this thing I'm probably gonna get a peak for it if my other peak doesn't fit on it with some minor adjustments uh, let's see what else I'll try to find some goggles or glasses that go with these but I think um, once my clear visor comes I got it from moto helmets in California. Once that comes, I'll just throw that on and then I'll have this um, interchangeable. I can go smoke or clear and this is going to be useful because there's a little pin lock system right there and I think it's pretty easy on off. I don't want to do it now in case it takes time and I ruin anything, but it'll be, um, it'll be cool to have this interchangeable and I could rock this without goggles and um, should be pretty good for most seasons, especially for vlogging too, because I'll have my mouth and face will be open so I can talk to the camera and you can see me talk. And this one I'll probably just get rid of. Give it away. If you want it, let me know. I have the hardware so that it can be reinstalled, the chin and uh, visor, but it is a bitch. However, someone who's um, mechanically inclined will probably have no problem with it. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Tell your friends, tell your family, and tell your fucking grandma.